Nate E A D G B. We shall know us. Do subscribe. But thank you. If you're having fun out there, watch some of these videos. Uh, as usual, going nowhere. Um, show you a couple different ways that you can play this, uh, depending on uh, what skill level or whatever where you're at. Uh, we'll start off just seven down strums in that top E string. Where? After about seven down strums, we're just gonna bend this five of the A. Match the pitch of the seven. Almost bending it down to that D string and then bringing it back up. If you're uncomfortable with bending or you just have an acoustic guitar, another way you can do a slide from the five to seven back up. After doing that, I want to say in the intro like six times, it goes to like a power E. All we're going to do there is open two of the rest of the way down, just trying to play the ch top chunk four there, as I always talk about. Four quick strums, then kind of mute. What I'm doing there is after the four strums, hit the three of the E, slide it down to the 15. if you want also if you're not either way uh, from there he goes to like some harmonics he'll do it like four times and all he's doing there is barely touching the strings almost like with the hairs on your fingers there um, just going from like the three to the two doing those harmonics in the E, you get into, that's pretty much the verse part of the song, you get into the chorus, and all we're doing there is an E, open two, two, one, now we're playing a C add nine, where we'll be muting on the top E, three, two, open on the G, three on the B, and then we'll be open on the E. To an A, you can either jam your three fingers in there, and be open, or I should say mute, mute, or mute open on the A, two, 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 and then open on the E, or you can play like a power A, once again, muting at the top E, open two the rest of the way down, kind of muting at that bottom E, if you can. And then it goes back to the C at nine. Second time through, you kind of hold on the A, repeat. Go to a D chord, kind of ACDC style, where we're muting out the top two strings, open on the D, three, or I should say two on the G, three on the B, and open on that bottom E. And then we're going to stretch this finger all the way out here to the four on the A, still muting on the top E. Back to that C at nine. Also play the first part kind of power chord style. And all I did there that time now is we're going to the seven on the A, nine of the D, one same strumming pattern, one and then three strums and we'll be at the eight and the ten, eight of the E, ten of the uh, a and then slide all the way up to the five on the E seven of the A back down now we're just gonna step down drop down I should say to the five on the A Seven on the D, stretch to the four on the A. Now we're 
going to be three and five, three on the A, five on the D. <laughs> That covers you all the way through. Uh, all the way through. Uh, if you're actually playing along with the song, not actually doing the solo part as usual here, uh, you just you can just kind of play that opening power E that we kind of do at the beginning uh, throughout the solo, and it's kind of what you hear out of the bass guitar in the background, to be honest. So, uh, and that should play you all the way through the song, and then you get back into the verse score. So that. As usual, trying to make it short but sweet. If uh, you think I missed something or whatever, down below. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if not, subscribe down below as usual. And I'm having fun. Hope you are.